This segment of the news is brought to you by Journey to Recovery. Take the first step. Call 775-382-1072. And let's join Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Tapping our news, the trade balance remains out of whack. The deficit increased more than expected in October and is now up 10% for the year. The Trump administration has been considering more tariffs on China to reduce the deficit and create a more even balance. Factories in the U.S. are geared up. Factory orders for September came in stronger than predicted. There's big demand for transportation equipment. Orders increased 8.4%. However, the worker shortage and trade war with China is said to be hampering momentum. Chinese internet retailer Alibaba is bracing for economic challenges. The e-commerce company lowered its revenue guidance for next year. The stock fell on Friday. Alibaba's revenue for the latest quarter rose 54% to $12.3 million. Apple had a very bad day on Friday. The shares were bruised after the the tech giant disclosed it will no longer break out sales numbers of iPhones and other gadgets. Thanks, Angela. Well, local veteran Jerry Bell showed us how much one person can do when he decided to help Florida hurricane victims. Hurricane Michael has been attributed to 60 deaths, with damage estimated at more than $11 billion. Michael slammed coastal cities on October 7th and 8th. In Central America, Yucatan Peninsula, Cayman Islands, Cuba, and the southeastern United States and East Coast, as well as Atlantic Canada and the Liberian Peninsula. The storm rated the third most intense Atlantic hurricane, hit the Florida panhandle with winds up to 155 miles per hour. I have family that lived in Mexico Beach. Mm -hmm. um, they lost two homes. My family's okay physically and financially, but I. Uh, I was down there a few weeks ago visiting with them, enjoying good food and, and good company, and I just felt like I'd, I wanted to do something. I, I was just torn with it. So I decided to make a driving trip. I figured if I could collect maybe $500 in cash to help with gas and get a few things to donate, I could make a contribution. Mm -hmm. I set up a Facebook page mm -hmm. for donations. Uh, I started putting the word out. I spoke to groups like the DAV and some quilting groups and stuff, and it very quickly blew all out of proportion. Yeah. Uh, the Facebook donation page collected $1,895. Uh, the veterans groups, my big red one friends around the country, mm -hmm. the veterans I know here in Pahrump, a couple of quilting groups, Everybody just stepped up, friends and family donating yeah. cash for me to spend and bringing stuff by. I wound up having to rent a trailer because my truck couldn't carry all the physical donations, food, clothing, health supplies, sanitation supplies, mm -hmm. you name it. I wound up collecting over $5,000, yeah. $5,400 to take down and spend. So I left on the 20th drove down, got in touch with some friends who live in the area but not in the really affected area. And from there we went to Mariana, Florida where I have family that lived there many, many years and are buried there. Mm -hmm. So I chose that small town as my focus point. I went there, unloaded the physical donations that we had uh, collected and then asked the people that I made contact with what do you need now most? And they put me in touch with some other people, some apartments, seniors' apartments that needed help, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of small towns in the area that still had no power and didn't have when I left, by the way. Mm -hmm. And so when they would tell me what they needed, I would drive out of the area and use the funds I had collected to buy exactly what they needed, mm -hmm. flashlight batteries, cleaning supplies, food supplies, health and sanitation supplies, whatever. Uh, I did that for the better part of a week, and of the $5,000, I had $5,404 to mm -hmm. be precise. I spent $4,984 of it and donated the rest to a 
church-based disaster relief fund that I came in contact with mm -hmm. and Habitat to, for Humanity. I received many hugs mm -hmm. that left tear stains on my shoulders. The people yeah. were so pleased. The, the magnitude of this uh, uh, for me cannot be captured with videos or photographs because when you see a photograph or a video you're seeing one section but when you get there it's yeah. all around you. You drive for miles. Homes destroyed. Homes completely obliterated. My cousin's homes are gone. Uh, roads that are just littered with giant trees. Mm -hmm. uh, power lines down and unusable. Uh, whole towns with no electricity and people desperate because they have only the clothes on their back. They have no job because the place they worked blew away. Uh, they have no money. Uh, they are still in shock. And the need for help is going to be there it's a long time. Yeah. And it was, it became very personal at times. It became very emotional because these people were so happy yeah. that somebody was there to help. And I wasn't the only one. There were a lot of people helping, but uh, it felt very good to be a part of that. And you can still help those hurricane victims by contacting the American Red Cross. We'll have more news right after this.